for the church. If God wanted to say something, the new providence, he knows your address. He knows your tweet. He knows your Facebook. He knows your email. He knows your social security number. He knows your driver's license. He knows your license plate number. He knows your address. He knows where you work. He knows your office. He knows your children. If God wanted to get in touch with you, he knows how to get in touch with you. If you believe it, shout it out. Have another witness. Like my, like somebody talking to my wife. Tell her about something I need to do. And she happened to slip up one day and say, Dickie Palmer said. Dickie Palmer said, you need. Move on. Jehoshaphat suggests to you and I that he was a man of God. And that there was going to be no God before him. Judah was a place known as the house of praise. Yes, the name of Jacob's son and the southern tribe of Israel was known as the place of praise. Yes, it was three tribes that have come, decided to rise up against Jehoshaphat. Yeah. Come against the people of Judah. Right. Have I got a witness in here? Yeah. And Jehoshaphat knew he could have a little talk with Jesus. Yeah. He knew that Mount Moab and the Ammonites and the Mount Syrites had all collaborated. That's that word, Donald Trump. They had all communicated. They had all got together on some floor of a big building and came together and talked about what they were going to do about their opponent. That's collusion. I'm sorry, collusion. That the Moabites, the Ammonites, and the Mount Syrites had conspired and concocted a scheme that they could defeat the tribe of Judah. Have I got a witness? They could defeat the two tribes of the southern kingdom of Israel. Yeah, the Moabites were the descendants of Lot from his eldest daughter. Genesis chapter 19, verse 30. Yes, when, Mo, when Lot's wife turned into a pillar of salt because she looked back at Sodom and Gomorrah. His two daughters got on the other side and got him drunk. Slept with the dad. And he fought a child and called him Moab. He was a child of incest. He created a nation of Moab. And then the tribe of Ammon were the Ammonites, which were part of the central region of Jordan. They were the ruthless group of people that were mean and vicious. They were known for their treacherous warfare and lifestyle. What the king of Saudi Arabia did to one of the reporters by having him killed during interrogation. They were ruthless. They left a message for everybody to know, you don't play with us. We will break the backbone of your power. And then there was the Mount Sirat. They were the mountainous region individuals east of Arabia. Elevation of 600 to 6,600 above the sea level. In other words, the Mount Sirites had their head in the clouds. They were high-minded people. Uh, the Ammonites were hard-hearted people. And the Moabites were those individuals who were, amen, individuals who were about promiscuity. They were about, amen, sexual lasciviousness. But they got together and said, we're going to rise against the house of Judah. And the Bible says they came together. They plotted and schemed. And I can tell you, man of God, uh, don't sleep. Let the Lord work for you. Don't worry about the uh, individuals who will plot and scheme against the ministry of New Providence and his pastor. We serve a God who sits high and looks down low. He will show you whatever you need to see. Have I got a witness in here? And Mount and New Providence, don't be afraid or scared or terrorized or fearful about individuals creating mess about the pastor or his family. 
Yeah, don't be easily moved when folks say things about those who love the pastor. They'll call them Dawson lovers or Christian lovers. They love the Dawsons. They just love Derek Dawson. Well, you're supposed to love. The Bible says you don't like me, you love me. And if you love me, you'll do the will of him that has sent me. Have I got a witness in here? He said that they came together and plotted and schemed. You know how we do it. We get on Snapchat. We get on Facebook. We get on to tweeting. And we get on our telephones. Three-way parties. You call two. I call two. And we we'll all get together. And we're going to plot and scheme on King and Greater New Hope and Shamika and them folk who are King lovers. And we're going to show them who we are. But you don't know. It's not us. It's the God that's in us. I wish I had somebody in here that he's our card and he's our guide and he's our company keeper and he will take care of you. I wish I had some saints in the sanctuary who've been through some church stuff who can testify that God will take care of you and God will make a way for you because you applied the principles of a protected pastor. Yes, first Point is, first principle is the Jehoshaphat. Yeah. You look at see it in verse 3. The first principle Jehoshaphat says, we're going to seek the face of the Lord. Yeah. All right, all right. And then he says, we're going to make a sacrifice for the Lord. Yeah. Are y'all praying with me? Yeah. And then we're going to be faithful yeah. to our God. Yeah. Yes, we're going to seek the face of the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's love. Yeah. We're going to care fast and make a sacrifice to the Lord. Yeah. That's labor. Yeah. And we're going to be faithful to what God has told us to do. Yeah. That's leadership. Yeah, yeah. That when you have love, labor, and leadership, yeah. God will get the victory. Yeah. God will fight the battle. Yeah. And my brothers and sisters, Jehoshaphat says to the congregation of Judah, what we're going to do is we're not going to be afraid. We're not going to be scared. But what we're going to do is what we know has worked in the past. And that is if we seek the face of the Lord, God will show up. Because the Bible says God inhabits the praises of his people. And when you seek the face of the Lord, he will show up. Have I got a witness? Anybody in here ever been in your hospital bed aching with pain? And you said, Lord, it's me, Lord, calling on your name. And the Lord stepped in the room and made your infirmity behave. I wish I had a witness in here that when the storm of life was raging, you saw the face of the Lord and God showed up in your situation because you cried out in the name of the Lord. I wish I had a witness who could testify that when you put your faith in the word of God, when you say it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, me oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. When you get out on your knees and Pray when you moan and groan. I've got a witness when you start singing the songs of Zion. 